everyone, it's Jen from You So Much, and today we're going to talk about how to help your customers make a decision now. Now, I think the most important thing to remember in this whole discussion is that we're just trying to get them to make a decision. It's not about getting them to say yes to something that they don't want or need or doesn't fit them. You want the right customers for you. And the best thing you can do is help your customers make a decision to say, yes, you are the perfect solution for me or no, you're not. I mean, as salespeople, you can probably relate with having that person who is stringing you along saying, oh, maybe, maybe, maybe when they have no intent to say yes, or maybe they do want to say yes, but they just don't know. They just have like some lingering things that they need some help to make a decision. So a lot of times people will make the decision but in their head they're thinking, oh, I'll do that later. So we want them to make a decision now, and here are some things you can do to help them make that decision. The first thing is you can do is to add some urgency. Now, again, this is not a ploy to get them to do something that they don't want to do. It's just a technique you can use to help them make that decision now. So urgency can be done in a variety of ways. I highly suggest you think first before you just automatically say, oh, I'm going to give them a discount for one week. Because again, then you're getting into your overall brand image and pricing strategies that really take some further thought. So don't always automatically falter to, oh, I'm just going to offer a discount for a limited time. Instead, maybe the offer is only good for a certain time. Like if you're doing a launch for a new product, maybe you are only going to offer it for a certain amount of time and then that's it. And then maybe you'll offer it again in six months, but that's it. That's the only time you're going to offer that now. So do some things to add urgency, but again, don't always falter to a discount. So the second thing you can do is you can highlight the scarcity of your product or service. So maybe you're only going to sell this product to 40 people, or maybe you only work with one private client per week, or maybe this is going to really be the very last time you offer this particular product or service. So again, if there is scarcity, highlight what that is and show the customer that they are one of the few people that are going to have access to it. Now, the next thing you can do to help them make a decision now is to remind them of their fantasy. Remind them of the problem that you're solving for them and show them what will happen if they do not act now. So in other words, if they wait two months or three months because something else is going on in their life, they're too busy, they're overwhelmed, they don't have the funds. You highlight the things that will happen to them between now and then. And so if for some reason they're putting off this decision, what will happen to them if they don't improve their life now? If they don't make that fantasy come true? If they don't take steps to create the life that they want for themselves? And the very last thing you want to make sure you do is have a very clear and compelling offer. If it's not clear how they can work with you or how much it costs to work with you, or if there's anything about the offer that is really unclear, they can't make that decision right now. So make it really, really clear the ways that they can work with you and that they can work with you right now. If you guys have any thoughts about this, I'd love to hear from you. Please leave a comment below. And as always, don't forget to write down your own fantasies because words make it real.